We got our crescent rolls laid out right here, spread out into a nice starburst design. This one is gonna be fun. You're gonna love it. I'm taking some ham. We're gonna go ahead and take every piece of ham. We're just gonna place it right on top of our crescent rolls. These are thin sliced ham, so it's, it's coming apart a little bit, but that is just fine. We are gonna have an incredible party, family meal. This could be a breakfast thing. This could be a brunch thing. It's yummy no matter what. All right, so we've got our ham all spread out. I've also got some scrambled eggs that I've made here. Okay. All right, got my scrambled eggs. We're gonna place those on. See, what, see how this is going? Not yet, actually. <laughs> I am so excited for this one. I can't wait to show you. It's gonna be such a fun recipe. You're gonna wanna try this to impress your friends. And seriously, it bakes faster than just about anything. Well, we've got a lot of thumbs ups coming in. Are you guys excited in. already? Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, hit the like button if you like my little tongs, because they are my favorite. <laughs> little hand tongs. All right, I'm adding my scrambled eggs on there. And of course, if we've got ham and eggs, what are we missing? Cheese. cheese. Can you get me some cheese, please? Cheese. Yeah. All right. So cheese would be in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, okay. there's some uh, shredded cheese. Mozzarella shredded mozzarella right, right there. You could use any kind of cheese that you wanted. Okay. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Now, I like salt and pepper on my eggs, so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of that. Just a little because we don't need too much. But I guess I'm always stingy with the pepper, so I'm going to add Put a lot more pepper on More yeah. pepper just for you today. Where's everybody from? Because this is live, and what I love about these lives is that we can talk back to you, we can get your comments. We've got Jonathan from Hawaii watching. Hi there. We've got Juan watching. All right, now I'm gonna Marie. sprinkle some mozzarella. Okay. Sprinkle that on top. It's okay if it gets a little bit messy. Messy means it's gonna be good, if okay. you ask me. All right. Now, the cool part comes when I start rolling this up again. All right, add a little bit more cheese. Is that enough cheese? That looks good. I think that's good. All right, check this out, guys. We have Michael from Indiana watching. Guys. Now, so these are our crescent rolls. Just if you're just now tuning in, take a look. I unrolled them and I already spread what? it out there because I want this to be quick and easy. I know you guys got places to go, people to see, so I already did the prep for you. Now, check this out. Linda from the UK. Hi, Linda. We're making an impressive crescent roll ring. See what I'm doing? I'm tucking that in under there. Wait, I don't understand. Okay, you're just twisting it up. Yep. I see. I'm tucking it under. Ray says, no bacon, question mark. Now, Ray, you could do this however you like. That's what's fun about this. You can customize it and put whatever ingredients you want. What would you do? Ray would have bacon. We're gonna go with ham, egg, and cheese today. Nancy is from Alberta, Canada, says hi. Hi there, I love Canada Denise, and I love Canadians. Denise from Tennessee. Dawn hey, from Michigan watching. Okay, so we've got a few more to just wind up here. All right. And then I'm gonna pop this in the oven and this is gonna bake super fast. And while it's baking, we're gonna show you a second recipe. I've got a dessert recipe that we're gonna show you while it's baking. Yes, Suzanne from Sweden watching. So you see, this is just curling up. This is a, a crescent roll ring. And I spread them out, they come in triangles. Now this is only one can because it's gonna cook faster for you. I okay. wanna get this done real fast so you can see the finished results when I take it out of the oven. But if you really have a big family or you're gonna do this for a party or something, you could do two cans of crescent rolls and it'll be a really impressive spread. Jim says ham, egg, and cheese, question mark. Yep, yep. ham, egg, and cheese, you can't go wrong with that. So you tuck it in. We got Italy in the house watching, Sweden ah, watching. Buongiorno. I didn't Boise, know Idaho, hello How's Molly. It? I think this is almost ready to go in the oven. I've got one more thing I have to do. And I've got this on a pizza pan, as you can see that. Uh -huh. But use two of these and it'll get even bigger. I'm now gonna make an egg wash, all right? So I've got You're gonna wash egg. the egg? I'm not gonna wash the egg. I'm gonna actually put the egg in here. Uh -oh, okay. Oh, I got some shell. Oh, goodness. All right. I'm so clumsy. All right. And we are just going to just stir that up a little bit. We got El Paso, Texas in the house. And then I'm gonna just brush the top with the egg wash because that is gonna give it a nice golden flavor. Not a golden flavor, a golden color. I'm silly. All right, brush that on there. 
And I'm doing this real fast, obviously, because I'm trying to make it happen fast for y'all so that you can see the finished results. I know that's what you're here for. Nicholas says he's watching from the boondocks. Boondocks. <laughs> I've been there before. Hello from Minnesota. But when you're doing this, take your time. Make it look nice. Impress your friends. Kathy says creative looks yummy. So we've got ham, egg, and cheese in here. And look at Jax is already used, in the back there saying I like I use the uncured ham because it's better for you. Okay. Crescent okay. rolls. What we'll kind of crescent mozzarella. rolls? I want to see these crescent rolls. Yeah. All right. And they even have reduced fat kind if you want to Mozzarella. I think it's time to pop this in the oven. All okay. Right? Let's see. This is going to bake super fast. I know because I've made it before. It's going to bake right in front of our eyes. You've made crescent rolls. You've never made this, though. Yes, I have. This round thing? You just didn't know thing? about it. Oh. I just, you just didn't know. You oh. know everything I do. Oh. <laughs> kind of figured it. <laughs> bake it in there while that's happening. All right. Now we are going to make some dessert. Now, I really like to use biscuits to make desserts, especially single desserts. We're gonna open this, pop, pop this open this can of biscuits. This okay. always scares me, so give me just a second here. All right. Ready? Yep. Wait. Leon Chelsea says, what a great idea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Every time. All right. We got Very exciting. Out. We're gonna take two of these Grand's biscuits out. Okay. These are nice and thick. We're gonna take two of them. All right? All right. Place it right there. Go ahead and put that out of the way. This is going to allow us to make a pie, a single serving pie. I'm gonna go ahead and spread it out with my fingers nice and wide. All right. All right. Spread that out, press it down. And today we're gonna to make cherry chocolate pie. Cherry I don't know chocolate about you, pie. But I love cherries and chocolate. I had cherry Garcia ice cream yesterday. All right, I need to reach in here, grab a spoon. All right, pull out my spoon and take a little bit of the cherry pie filling. I had opened this for something else the other day and I didn't want to waste it, so we're gonna use our uh, remaining bits for our individual pie. Okay. And this is gonna bake, I am not lying to you, in two minutes. Two Seriously, minutes. We're making a cherry pie in two minutes in the waffle maker. I know I do it all the time. And it turns out really good actually in the waffle but maker. But while we're doing that, remember, we Ooh, got our crescent roll baking over here and it's going to be yummy. Okay. Okay, so we've got our cherries. I don't want to overfill it too much. I'm going to add some chocolate chips to it. So Are you guys a fan? Chocolate chip and cherry. Are you a fan of chocolate all right. chips and cherries? We're Kevin good. says, hi, all. Hey, Kevin. Now, the fun thing is, once again, you can customize this however you would like. If you're not a fan of cherry and chocolate, you don't have to do it that way. You can put apples and cinnamon, whatever you like. All right, we're going to take our second biscuit now. We have two of these. What are they? Grand's Buttermilk Biscuits. Okay. All right. I'm going to just spread it out with my fingers. And then I'm going to place it on top. So this is kind of our pie crust. Denise says, cherry and chocolate is my favorite too. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to add some almonds to it as well. Oh, that mm -hmm. sounds good. It's really nice with these biscuits because if you use this as your pie crust, you place these sliced almonds on top and then you get toasted almonds when you put it in there. Okay. Now, where's everybody we're, from? Because we want to give you some shout outs because that's part of the fun. We have people watching from all over the world. Hey, Nicholas, uh, love cherries and chocolate. This looks like it's going to be so good, Leon says. It is a yummy one and you can make it however you like. Now, I've got my little pie, look at that. Okay. Inside of that is my cherries and chocolate. I'm going to add some toasted. Wait, flip it over. I want to see the other side. Okay. So it's like, it's okay. sealed up all yeah, around. I just pitched the edges closed. Oh, I see. Okay. Just like that. You don't have to make it look too perfect because it's going to go in here and it's going to end up being kind of a... Nicholas uh, asks, what are you making? We are making pie with cherries and biscuit dough and chocolate chips and almonds. This is going to be a single serve pie. That this is the dessert, but the main course is right in here. It's already Check baking. this out, guys. This one is going to be good this is going to be done in just like a few minutes we're going to take it out of the oven and you're going to see it you can see the cheese is already melting Dan dana from twin falls idaho is watching we got Tra travis from wisconsin did you know my husband's from wisconsin i'm from wisconsin yay yep and we are from las vegas live from las vegas right now but i'm originally from mississippi so when i start cooking i think my accent comes back a little bit don't forget to spray your waffle iron because yes. it's going to stick if you don't spray it. All right, so spray it really good. Like more than that. Just kinda, I'm, I'm there you go. There All go. right, there we go. All right, time to make some pot. I'm going to add some, some of these. Oh, I'm going to make it pretty. 
you can even be decorative. I didn't even think about that until right now. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all. Ooh, put a little face on it. I am not oh, professional. Okay. No. I never claim to be. I am just somebody that loves food and loves experimenting with it and talking and meeting y'all. We've yeah. got a lot of hearts and thumbs up flying in right now, guys. I think they're excited to see what this looks like. I'm excited to see. So we've this. got our almonds on top of our biscuit dough. Look at and that. what's nice is that it's gonna Fancy. actually make it toasty. Yes. Watch this. Place that in there. I think it's time. Roz says, Viva Las Vegas, and a little heart. It's time to make some pie, y'all. We've got ready South Africa it? in the house. Close up. Close it water. up. It's going to flatten out a little bit, and that's exactly what we want. All right. This is going to bake in two minutes flat. I San thought. Francisco in the house. Now, I'm not messing with y'all. I'm not just, you know, telling you stuff that's not going to happen. You're going to see it. Let me get my hair out of my face. All right. Look at that. It's already getting nice and Ooh, toasty. Toasty on the top. This is going to be so cool. I can't okay. wait to cut that open right there. This is gonna be so good. Oh, wait till nice. we pull that out. I can't wait to eat that. All right. We got Howdy from Cold Virginia. Hi, Virginia. Tell me who else we got watching. No, from that's where she's from, Virginia. I know. I'm saying hi. To oh, <laughs> Kentucky here. Listen, we can hear it. Our pie is already baking right now. And if you're wondering what we're doing, if you're just joining, we are making two recipes right now simultaneously we're making pie a single serving pie with some grand's homestyle biscuits i used two biscuits okay one two in there i placed some cherry pie filling you could put whatever you want if you want it to be uh strawberry or apple it's your choice if you want to use fresh fruit do it okay i added some chocolate chips because i like chocolate cherry and then we put some almonds on top to make some nice toasted cherry almond I think it's going to be good, but I think this one's almost ready to take out the oven. You guys, look at this. Look at this. It's almost done. Inside Ooh, of that. That looks so good, it's guys. It's puffing up nice. Ham. Ooh, we've got somebody from Racine, Wisconsin cheese. here. I'm from, I'm from right next door to you guys. Ham, cheese, and scrambled eggs. All right, let's see. Can you say, hey, Zamaria says. Hey, Zamaria. I hope I said your name right. <laughs> I'm Misty, by the way. We got Carol from uh, Take a look right down Maryland there. watching. Look inside there. We are baking a cherry pie. You can see the cherry oozing out. Ooh, yes. Look oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's, we, have a, uh -huh. we have a little bit of a catastrophe no, going no, on no, right there. No, no, there's no catastrophe. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. I don't know who told y'all things have to be perfect. I never think We got Patrick it. watching from Coal Black Mountain, okay, this North Carolina. Good. And this is almost done. I think it's almost time to take it out already. Yep. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is happening so fast. I told you it happens fast. All right. By the time this is done, That's in even one gonna... minute, this one's coming out. This is incredible. I can't believe it's actually baking already that fast. Yeah, this look at that. Just... That looks delicious inside there. Wow. All, All right. right, what are we doing? I'm baking. I'm going to squish this down just a little bit. All right. Our cherry pie is going to come out. It's almost done already. Hello, Mary from Kentucky. She says, yummy. We are making these are great for parties. This is what's in the oven right now. I told y'all this was fast. You take rolls of crescent dough, cheese, ham, and uh, scrambled eggs. We've got Chef Jim watching from New oh, Jersey. Oh, no, that makes me nervous that we have a chef watching. Yes, well, you are not a chef, by I the way. I do not take me too seriously. This is for fun, guys. All right. Never claim to be a chef. Don't, don't get it twisted. I can't believe I that. <laughs> I think this is almost done. All right, ready? Xavier watching. Hi, Xavier. Let's take it out. All right, I think we're ready to take this out of the oven. All right, here we now, go. The best part comes when I slice it open because then you get a slice of everything yummy in there. I'm gonna eat this right Terry now. Terry says, Lummy, yummy, yummy looks good. All right, I'm taking Are we ready? Out. I think we're ready. Don't burn this because I really want to eat that one, especially. Let me get a, uh, well, how am I gonna, my tongs, I'll use this. Okay, yummy. Everything is turning out so good. It seems a little chaotic right now. Is <laughs> well, this I'm supposed to be like that? Once. I'm trying to give y'all more for your money. More entertainment value for your money. And so <laughs> when I'm cooking two things at once, it does get a little crazy. Jim says, love it. Watch all the time. Thank you that, for watching, Jim. That really looks good. Missed it. What, right, missed go. when you made that. All right. I'm going to plate this up, and then we're going to show you the big reveal of both at the same time. Show yes. The this end. is awesome, guys. I can't wait to see that. Don't it's golden brown. we got to hurry. I don't want to burn it. Don't don't burn it, don't burn it. All right, I got my cherry pie ready to go. Oh, a little bit of powdered sugar on the top. It's always better with powdered sugar on the top. 
Just a sprinkle on the top. It always, it makes it look nice and it tastes a little better. I love it. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Hello, Mary Price. I'm taking it out, y'all. I told you this one was going to be fast. Hello, Annie. Wow. Boom. This looks so good. That could not have been any faster. You didn't even not burn it. Not talk to me about how this was dragging on because this was fast. I think this was impressive because it happened so fast and we also made pie. Let's see them. Let's see them right next to each other. We'll get a good shot of them right there. Ham so there's the pie right egg, there. Look at that. Roll, cherry pie. And look at that right there. You want to cut that open right yeah, in front of them right there? Let's cut it open. I think that was a success actually. I think so, yeah. Look at this. It's a surprise. All right. <laughs> Slice it. Yum me. Look at that. That smells delicious, guys. You got to try it. Awesome. I'm excited about this one. Thanks for watching. You take your blueberry biscuits and you just use your fingers to press them into a little cup shape. We're okay. going to just fill the muffin cup mold with our biscuit. And we're going to take some of our apple pie filling. And this is actually the no sugar added, which means it's better for you, less sugar. Get a couple pieces of apple. There you go. We're gonna place some apple into each one of these. Some blueberry. Have you guys had apple blueberry before? Oh my gosh, it's such a good combo. Look at that. There we go. And these biscuits are going to rise and they're gonna form a little cup shape. It's these kind of biscuits. Yeah, yummy. Pillsbury ones. And now I need you to get me some oats, actually. Oats. We're gonna have oats. some healthy stuff in this one. All right, healthy oats right there. Here's the uh, Quaker Oats. Yes, right. perfect. And you can use any brand you want, but this is what we happen to have right now. We're gonna actually take some oats and dump them into our bowl. Just enough to make our crumble top. Okay. We've got that. We're now going to add some brown sugar. I'm not using exact measurements. We're just guessing on this. Oh, you mean that's not exact measurement? No, okay. we are just using misty measurements. This is not a professional chef here. What? We're going to add some cinnamon. Oh, okay. There we go. And now we're going to take our melted butter and mix that up. We're going to form a nice crumble topping. This is going to go over the top of our little blueberry biscuit cups. See how great this is gonna be? You've got lots of fiber in this dish, actually. You spoon a little bit of this on top of each one of these. And we're gonna pop these in the oven and bake them according to the instructions on the can. These are Pillsbury blueberry biscuits. Did you know that they made blueberry biscuits? I had no idea. Man, are they good. I am excited to see what this looks like at the end. Yeah, it's going to be yummy. And that's it. You've got a delicious, healthy breakfast with your blueberries, your apples. And you know what? I know some of you out there are purists and you say, listen, I'm fancy. I'm going to make this from scratch. Please do. I encourage you to do that. You can modify these recipes however you'd like. But this is a version that's quick and easy using the cans and the pre-made dough. So I've only got one blueberry biscuit left over and I don't want to waste it. So we're going to show you another little trick using the good old waffle iron. Yay. We're going to take our spray. You got to spray the pan so it doesn't stick. What are some good alternatives to this too? I've seen some of you guys in the comments say that you don't like to use pan spray. So let me know what you would recommend that I use instead of this if you have your preferences. But we're going to take our biscuit and we're going to put it right on the waffle iron. And then I'm going to take my topping my crumble topping, which was oats. That just needs a- uh, Yep, oats. Quaker oats. Brown sugar and melted butter. Okay. And we're just gonna put it right on top, kind of pressing it into it. Because now remember, this is a waffle iron, so it's gonna just get flattened out anyway. So you don't have to worry about looking pretty, but I'll tell you what, it is gonna be yummy. But did you know that you could make biscuits in the waffle iron? You're about to find out. Here we go. You're going to be really impressed with how fast these cook, to be honest. Why would you want to cook biscuits in the waffle iron? You may be asking. Well, I have an answer for you. What if you don't have a stove or an oven? Who doesn't have a stove or an oven? Uh, whenever we were in Macau, so we're magicians. We, um, before we started making silly and crazy cooking videos, we were traveling the world with our show. And we spent four or five months in China, in Macau actually, and the apartment that the casino had given us, which was 
average, you know, standard for the area. They didn't have a stove. I don't know. They just didn't have stoves. I guess apartments like that didn't. So that's an example. So in case there are magicians who are <laughs> traveling to Macau, this is good to know this. You're Maybe so, you could you could have just said so, like college students. I'm not done giving the answer. You could have said. You're so sassy. Oh, wow. So if you're ever touring with if you're your ever show touring in, China. in China, that's the perfect time to use oh the waffle God. maker. And in addition to that, what if you're in the hotel? Or okay. what if you're a college student in a dorm where uh, they don't have stoves? Uh -huh. Or what if you just don't want... Okay, I got one for you. Oh, I'll so you're you thinking better. this now. This I'll is... do you better. Okay. You know why you wouldn't want to turn your stove on? What if you have the stove? Why would you not want to use it? Because energy. Because energy. The energy wow, that the it environment. Takes, yes. The energy that it takes to heat up the oven. Right. Especially for you one You could be saving oven. the Arctic Circle by using this See, instead of the oven. the biscuits and the waffle iron and you're helping You're helping the polar bears. Wow. This is just... <laughs> We've gone a long way from where we started, haven't we, folks? Okay. What's this one turning out right now? Let's just see. And you know, oh, I almost forgot. So th this comes with this uh, this uh, cream cheese okay. sauce. And ow! Don't burn yourself. Oof. Sometimes I just get so excited when I'm doing these. <laughs> it's a little bit chaotic over here. Okay. Yes, it's a blueberry icing. Icing, the icing. And then okay. that'll actually warm it up and melt it. Or you could just put it in the microwave, but that's that's one way to do it. We don't. We're saving the environment. Okay, so. this is almost done. How does it look? Looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, does it ever? All right, we're gonna go and take it out. Let me get my fork. Wow, I should actually just show you. Let's yeah, please. Oh, look at that. You know See what? how fast that was? I think that, by the way, that The time looks... it took for me to tell my stupid little story, yep. it was cooked. Look at that. That looks really good. I would go to like a uh, Starbucks type place and you could have mm -hmm. that and it'd be like... And you know what? Look, look at this. That. We're about to make it even better. We're going to add some of our blueberry topping right on top. Look at that. All right. And then you could take your icing and just pour that on top as well. I don't know if it's melted enough, well. but I'm just going to take a little bit anyway and just kind of rub it around. It's not working very well. Shh, it's going to taste delicious. Okay. It's, look, it's melting on it. This uh -huh. is perfect. Yep. Guys, this ended up being a really good idea. See? All right, but the, the proof, though, is in the, uh, the taste here. All right, so we're going to take a bite. Give it a shot. Don't burn yourself again. I know. I'm so clumsy. Yes. Did y'all see the, uh, the clip of me using the cake mixer in the box? Yes. You see how clumsy they are. Very entertaining. I bet they did. All right. Here All right. Go. Yeah, it's still a little warm, but I think it's fine. You have to try this. Mm, it the does nice, look good. The, the oats on top. This is so good. They're ready, and they smell so good. I wish you guys had smell vision. These are our blueberry so biscuits, crumble cups. This is an apple blueberry crumble. Look at how good that is. That does look good. I'm going to grab a plate. Which one are we going to try? I think this one looks perfect. Okay. You know what I like about these silicone molds? Look at how easy they just slip right out. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. They're perfect. I'm just going to pop my fork down in there because they're still hot. I don't want to burn my hand. Look at this. Boop. Wow. Look at the steam coming off. Wow. This is going to be delicious, but I'm not done yet. The best part. These blueberry biscuits come with some icing. Oh. Put that in the microwave. Look at that. How awesome is this? So delicious. A perfect breakfast, brunch treat. And you know what? You've even got some fiber in there because of our oats. I bet this, oh gosh. I hope it doesn't burn my mouth. Look at right. how good that is. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna have another bite. 